Hello, good evening to all of you. Good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Oh, wait, thank you. Okay, welcome back. Can you hear me very well? Yes. Hello, Laura. Hello, teacher. How is it going?
Okay, I'm going to check out the attendance now. Adriana del Carmen. Present teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Ana Beatriz. Ana Lilian Reyes. Escobar. Present. Selena Guadalupe. Present. Diana Stephanie. Present. Eric Orlando. Present. Francis Elizabeth. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Welcome, sir. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. María Concepción. María Elena. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra. Mayra Veralice. Mayra. Mayra. It's not here, okay. Saira Marleni. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Santos Misael. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleyma. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Yesenia Lisset. Not here. Okay, here we go today. Welcome back. We are going to talk about compare distribution options. This is the video conference number four, and we are going to start. 
making a review about the previous class. Try to remember, you can take a look at your notes and start talking about right. Okay, let us start talking about the previous class and then we are going to start with the new topic. But previously we need to connect all the information that we had yesterday. Uh, at the end of the session, we was talking about how to use the certainly expressions. Okay. And we could classify some words in certain or uncertain. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else? Hello? Okay, somebody else? What do you remember about the class, the previous class? In your own words, tell me. What do you remember? Yeah. We practice a conversation about two people. Uh, who were planning to to get an advice for someone who have many shop stores in order to expand expand their business of ice cream. Okay, thank you, sir. That is true. Somebody else. You had the chance to take a look at your notes and that way you are going to remember. Don't tell me that you have forgotten everything about the previous class because we need that knowledge in order to continue talking about the same topic today. Yesterday, we started the class then talking about uh, the distribution method of my uh, competencia. Okay. Competition. Okay, okay. Thank you. One more. Else? Do you remember the number of the page that we have started yesterday?
let me see if you have studied the material. Was in page 11. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, remember, you need to take a look at the material too, because in that way you are going to reinforce your knowledge and you are going to make a review about what we have been talking about. But it is necessary that if you have a free, uh, free time during the day, maybe you got in the cell phone the, the material, the books, and you can read and look for words that maybe you don't have any idea about. Okay. Today we are going to continue talking about distribution channel. And uh, I invite you to take a look at page 13. There we have a chart. And at the top of the chart said, uh, look at the distribution channel decision mat matrix below. But before to talk about this chart that we have there, we need to have some ideas of about what is the meaning of this decision matrix. I don't know if you have heard something about before. Any idea about that? No? About decision? Can you repeat? Okay, and in activity number seven, on page number 13, said your term, uh, there is a chart, and, and the indication said, look at the distribution channel decision matrix below. My question is, if you have any idea about what decision matrix means? Or, or is it the first time? So, uh, 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 matrix is, is like a, a, a core origin. Okay, let me share this with you. I'm going to give you some information related with this, and then we are going to start working in the chart that we have there. In order to resolve this exercise, uh, you need to have some ideas about what I'm talking about. Okay, you, you have it there, decision matrix. Decision matrix analysis is a useful technique to use for making a decision. Okay, let, let me highlight it for you in order that you can Okay, try to keep in mind, I underlined decision matrix analysis is a useful technique to use for making a decision. It's particularly powerful where you have a number of good alternatives to choose from and many different factors to take into account. A decision matrix 
helps take the subjectivity out of the decision that needs to be made by carefully weighing all the factor and criteria that are used to make a final decision. But if you don't want to complicate, you just pay attention to all the words that are, uh, that are on the pardon line, you know? Just in this line, you have the, the concept about what is decision matrix. If I ask you that you tell me in your own words, what, what is decision matrix, how can you tell me? Hello? Hello. Okay, well, what, what you can tell me is, oh, ah, decision metric is a technique. Okay, it's help us to make decision. Yeah, it could be in that way. But if you want to add more words related with that, you can do it in that way. Because uh, I know that uh, it, it is really difficult in, to learn uh, a concept. It is better when we create our own concept related with, with the previous one. It's like a flow chart. Okay, could be like a flow chart. And also, uh, there we are going to find out many different factors to take into account at the moment that we are going to, to make a decision, you know? As you, if you see the material, in the material, just say, look at the distribution channel decision matrix below. Okay, but let us see what it is next. And remember, I invite you to create your own vocabulary. If, if you consider that right here in this uh, paragraph, there are uh, some words that you don't know, just create your own vocabulary. Okay, when to use decision matrix? Let me erase the line that I have here. Okay, when the list of options must be narrowed to one choice, when the decision must be made on the basis of several criteria, after the list of options has been reduced to a manageable number by list reductions. Tell me, what do you understand about that? Because you need to understand the concept and I recommend you to make a screenshot. Because suddenly I, I forgot to, to share with you the slides and then you got the info. Okay, when, when to use the decision matrix? When we are going to use it? For example, when someone wants to get a credit with a bank, for example, oh, okay. and they're going to 
to list the, the banks. And then we're going to, to choose if they, uh, if they have, for example, an insurance, the higher tax and insurance for debt, things like that. In order okay. to, to, to get the better offer. The, the better option, right? That means that uh, in order to do that, when somebody's going to do something like that, uh, he or she need to take into account different aspects. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Hello. I'm going to say this in Spanish. No, no, no me gusta cuando, cuando veo ese silencio. Si hay algo que no comprenden, por favor. Deben de decírmelo para poderles clarificar el concepto. El objetivo es que todos aprendan. Algunos solo están recordando porque esto ya en alguna materia lo, lo vieron. And also we got a typical situation are we shall offer to accept. Imagine that uh, you apply to different job and they call you three different companies call you. And, and that way you are going to apply decision matrix. You need to take into account a lot of factors. And the third one, I don't know, uh, if you are going to consider the payment or the distance, it's up to you, you know. Another could be which, which, uh, which software to purchase. Which apartment to rent, whether to lease or push a car. But, but I need that you tell me. For that reason, I use that term in your own words, because I guess it's better. Hello. Any questions so far from here? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? I don't get the feedback. Yes, no. It is clear. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Laura, Jenny, uh, Saira. It is clear the concept? No, teacher. Adriana. Okay. What do, uh, what are your doubts? ¿Cuáles son sus dudas? No quiero ir avanzando y, 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 y que no comprendan el inicio porque el objetivo es que comprendan. And also, uh, trato de hablar el 100% por el nivel que estamos, en, en el que ya nos encontramos. Ok, uh, I start talking, yo inicié hablando, 
que en la página número 13 tenemos un cuadro donde nos pide que hagamos un ejercicio, que es el número 7, eh, y dice ahí que veamos eh, los canales de distribución, pero ahí mismo habla del de decision matrix, y ese es el concepto que, que vimos al inicio, que, en qué consiste eso. Hasta ahí estamos bien, ¿cierto? I can hear you. I don't know why, but. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, okay. You already got the concept. Ya tienen el concepto. ¿Se comprende el concepto? ¿O no se comprende? No. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. I'm going back. Okay, aquí. ¿Qué es lo que dicen las primeras tres palabras? Decision Matrix Analysis. ¿Qué es eso? O tal vez no nos vayamos hasta ahí, sino lo que yo había subrayado. Subrayé desde donde dice, It's a useful technique to use for making a decision. ¿Qué es lo que dice desde acá? Lo voy a hacer de esa forma porque veo que no hay, eh, no hay un feedback when I ask you something. Only just some of you. But I, I, I remember you. I'm, I'm doing this in English in 100% because of the level. Matriz de análisis de decisión. Ok. Podemos dejarlo así. Pero me interesa el concepto desde el is hasta el punto. Que es una técnica muy usada para tomar decisiones. Ah, ok. Va. Hasta ahí. Es lo que yo les había subrayado, ¿cierto? Sí. Y, luego, y luego les dije que si no se querían complicar, que solo tomaran la línea que yo había subrayado. Porque del punto en adelante da otros conceptos. ¿Sí? Pero si alguien no los quería tomar, les dije que no los tomara. Ahora que ya tenemos que dice que es una técnica muy usual para tomar decisiones. Ah, entonces quiere decir que... Es una. Hello. Técnica. Ah, es una técnica que vamos a usar. Y en nuestro material tenemos eh, una matriz. Así. Con diferentes opciones y preguntas que luego las vamos a desarrollar. Pero primero yo quería como relacionarlos con los conceptos porque... Eh, bien pude haber desarrollado el ejercicio, pero eso de esas decision matrix, esa es una técnica y eh, es necesario como conocerla. Posiblemente algunos van a indagar en eso. Later on, ok. Ok, uh, what else? Ok, take a look at this. A decision matrix helps stay. Ok. ¿Qué es lo que dice ahí? ¿Esa técnica nos ayuda a qué? A sacar lo subjetivo. Al momento de, 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 de tomar o de hacer... Uh, de tomar una decisión. Ya con esos conceptos no me complico más. Ok, ¿it is clear now? 
Wendy and the rest of the class? The first line, yes. Other concepts, uh, kind of. Okay. But, but if you got the, the, the message of the first line, I guess is the main point here. Sure, I think it's better explaining with an example. Yeah, 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 Oscar. But, but at the same time, what I'm doing is just uh, because I want to be really sure. Of course, I know that uh, in order to understand this kind of information, we need to have a, a good vocabulary related with it. And that is the reason why sometimes we don't understand what, what, what is the para paragraph uh, talking about. But um, for that reason, I've been told you, you need to create your own vocabulary because I consider at this level, um, I have to use English 100%, you know. In my case, in this level, um, I, 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 I don't use to, to translate everything in, in Spanish because I consider that you are familiar with the, the majority of, of the words. But of course, what you said, it is right. For that reason, in the previous class, what I've been doing is just trying to ask you to give examples because it's the better way that you can understand exactly what we are talking about. Okay, you already know that this is a technique. Okay. And the next slide said, when to use decision matrix. ¿Cuándo es que vamos a usar esa decision matrix, esa técnica? When we are going to use it. When a list of options must be narrowed to one choice. And I would like to, that some of you can give me some examples in order that the rest of the class can understand it. We already have right here four different uh, situations. Then maybe you can add two or three more in order that. Okay, let us see. Uh, imagine that you want to buy a new cell phone. Okay. And you have five different options. In order to make a decision, what do you need? What do you consider it, do you need to take into account? The processor, the camera, the storage capacity, software. Okay. The color. <laughs> yeah, of course, it could be also the color. Price. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, the situation here is maybe we are not related with this technique and we made decision taking into account different aspects, but not in an order like the one that we have in the material. Okay. What else? Somebody can give me uh, another example. Hello. Which career study? Ah, could be. Imagine that uh, you say, okay, I like this, 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 and this. How you are going to, to do in order to, to get the best choice at the end? Okay, I'm going to continue sharing with you some ideas and later on we are going to clarify it, okay?
Okay, right here we have uh, another question. How to use decision matrix? How we are going to use it? Okay, decision matrix analysis works by getting you to list your options as a row on a table. On the, in the factor you need consider as column. I don't know if you got a picture about this. Take into account this decision matrix analysis where by getting you to list your options as row on a table. And the factor you need consider as column. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to show you the material. And we are going to find out rows and columns. Hold on a second, please. Okay, I got it here. This is the, uh, the exercise that we are talking about. Right here, we got a chart. This is a chart. We call it like in Excel, these are rows and these are column. This one are column and this one are rows. Is that clear? Yes or not? Yes, tell me, please. It is clear. What about the rest? Okay, decision matrix analysis were by getting you to list your option as rows on a table and the factor you need to consider as column. Okay, the factor that we need to consider, we have it in column here. For example, possible channels, uh, will customer buy, fits product and brand, fits organization, profit potential, Okay, these are the factors, and we are going to answer it, right? I don't know if you got picture now what I'm talking about. Tell me. Okay, let, let, let me test you if you got what I'm saying. Uh, let me see. Misael. Yeah, teacher, I don't understand. You don't got it. Okay, Misael. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Um, uh, I, I consider you you are a specialized in uh, technology, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> okay, okay. In Excel, we have... Uh, in Excel, nosotros tenemos filas y columnas en una tabla, ¿cierto? Yeah. Okay. The concept that I have here, el concepto que yo les acabo de mostrar acerca del decision matrix, habla de que en una tabla nosotros vamos a tener las opciones eh, como en filas, 
y los factores que vamos a considerar, ellos van a estar en columnas. ¿Ya? Yes. Okay. Entonces, entonces a eso le podemos llamar como. A eso le llamamos una matriz, ¿cierto? Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Ok, Wendy. Clear now? Um, I know. O sea, I know. Las, okay. filas, yeah. las filas, las filas y los... En las filas van a ir el qué? Ah, ok. Let me show you. Ajá, eso. Let me show you what we are going to have in the in the rows. Y aquí me voy a ir despacio porque quiero que comprendan. Okay, dice by getting you to list your option as rows on a table and the factor you need to consider as column. ¿Qué nos dice ahí? ¿Qué es lo que va a estar en las filas y qué es lo que va a estar en las columnas? The factor in col column. Ah, los factores, ok. ¿Y qué es lo que tenemos en las filas? ¿Hello? Las opciones. The option, right? Okay. And now let, let me let me share this. Before to talk about, okay, right here we, we have the chart. Aquí tenemos el cuadro, la tabla. Identifiquemos, por favor, cuáles son columnas y cuáles son eh, cuáles son filas. Let, let, let me draw something here. Posiblemente eh, could be new for some of you. Eric, send an example in the WhatsApp. Okay. My goodness, I can do bigger. Okay, we are talking about row. These are row. And now column. I need to make another. Well, I'm going to draw it. So I guess it's going to be better if I draw it here. How we call it this? A lo que viene hacia acá, ¿cómo le llamo? Column. Y a lo que viene para acá, I don't know why I can do this uh, bigger. Teacher, las verticales son las columnas y las horizontales son las filas. De eso está hablando. Es que yo acabo de venir y solo oía que preguntaba de las columnas y las filas. Ok. Las columnas son... The factor, the factor a considerar in the matrix. Okay, these, these are the factors. And this one right here, we are going to have the option, right? And this one. I guess you got an idea about what I'm talking about. Lo que quería especificar era lo que era eh, filas y lo que era columnas. Columnas, si, si, si lo vemos así más fácil, eh, cuando van a construir una casa, ¿cómo están? In this way, right? In this way. Yeah? Y las filas? In this way. Okay. Let's go back.
Okay, uh, I don't know if if you got an idea about what I'm talking about. No sé si les quedó más claro lo que estamos hablando, sí o no. But please tell me. Be honest and tell me. Yes, teacher. No, teacher, not yet. Okay, I, I, I have it here. How to use decision matrix. Decision matrix analysis works by getting you to list your option as row on a table and the factor you need consider as column. And I'm going to mention something. Uh, this tool may be utilized using the cows method. What counts means? What comes to your mind when you see it? Vaca. <laughs> the acronyms. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, Vaca. Okay, uh, I'm going to share with you. Okay, so please, if you, if you want to make a screenshot, it's better. Because I'm mixing. Uh, the slices in this situation. Okay, we have the step here, and we are going to see what is the, the meaning of the letter C. At the end, you are going to be sure that it's not talking about any backup, you know. Step one is a criteria. What is that? We need to develop in a hierarchy of criteria, also known as decision model. This is all of your options as the row label on the table and list the factor that you need to consider as the column heading. For example, if you were buying a new laptop, factor to consider might be cost, dimension, and hard disk size. Is that clear for you? Hello? Hello. It's clear. Okay. What about the next? Remember what is the meaning of the letter C, okay? Let us go in the step number two. O, identify the options, options, you know. Identify your option depending upon the team's need. This can be products, service, features, process, steps, projects, or potential solution. List this across the top of the matrix. Make an screenshot too. And we have step three. W is equal to weight. Assign a weight to each criterion based on its importance in the final decision. In some decision, criteria are more important than others. Review and agree on appropriate way to assign. And you are going to say, okay, this is number one, this is number two, this is number three. And the letter S stands score. Rate each option on a review scale by assigning. Teacher, the, hello. The, step two is three, please, again. Okay. For screenshot. Okay, okay. You got it there? Thank you. Now the next one. And the last one that is number four. What you, are, what you need to do is just, uh, then you are going to 
multiply the score for each decision criterion by its weighting factor, weighting factor. The total score for each alternative is being considered and analyzed the results. Okay, I guess I'm going just to give you this information. And you already got an idea of what is the meaning of this step. Okay, based on that, I'm going to ask Misael, give me a hand. And uh, Misael, do you consider uh, that you can uh, make a matrix related with laptop? I'm going to show you what you are going to put in the factors. Is that possible for you, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Are, you, in your, are you in your laptop? Yes? Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, let, let me go back here. It's gonna be number one, I guess. Okay. Okay, you 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 are going to put cost, it's gonna be the third one. That is the factor, right? Yes, yes. At the top, the heading. Okay. The third one is going to be costs. The second one, dimensions. The third one, hard disk size. And also, you can uh, add uh, memory, talking about flash memory, uh, and also color if you want. All right. Okay, now, um, I don't know if you can share it with us. Okay, let me, let me see. Yeah, if you want, you can put color and border too. I, I can share my screen. Okay, I'm going to let you do it. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. Okay, do it, sir. Do it now. Okay. We are going to do it this way because I want you to understand what we are talking about. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Maybe, uh, I don't know if you can add at least four more rows. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, could you write down a price in the, or somebody can say a price and he's going to write it down here in the cost. And also we miss something here. Uh, you can put it here, the brand. Next to the cost or at the end? Yeah, before, before the cost. Okay, there. Okay, uh, you could, you, you, we can put there, let me see. Okay, tell me. Hello class, you give us information about uh, laptops, please. Toshiba Acer HP. Okay, 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 in a slow way, Toshiba. Acer. Okay, Acer. Okay, what else? Come on, you know. Dell. 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 Huh? Dell. One more, one more, one more, please. HP teacher. Ah, Hewlett Packard. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay, now uh, give us cost, the price. Okay, somebody, somebody, somebody. Five hundred. Five. Five hundred. Okay. Next one.
Hello. Can you repeat? 450. 450, okay, 450. What about Dale? 800 bucks, 800 bucks. And what about HP? Give us a price, please. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Andre. Repeat again. 900. Oh, okay, 900. Okay. What about the dimension? Um, I guess they are like uh, target by inch. Right? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, you can put it. With the word or with the simple no. as this one? Yeah, uh, in, that, in that way. Yeah, yeah. They, in, in, they yeah, use in something with it. Yeah, yeah. It is just in order to have an example. I guess there inside, um, we, can, we can take into account only just two different aspects that could be desktop and laptop, I guess. Okay, let us consider when you say memory, uh, talking about hard disk. One terabyte, two terabyte, okay. And the color? Máquinas para gamers, teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, but what I want is that you understand what we are going to do. Okay, black could be black, could be blue, white, pink if you want. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, what, what we have here, it is called ¿Cómo le llamamos a esta técnica? Hello. Efficient matrix. Hey. Okay. Analysis. Okay. Decision matrix analysis. Okay. And, and what we have here, uh, at the top, at the heading. That we call a uh, column. ¿Qué es lo que tenemos en las columnas? And what we have in the rows. Factors. And what about in the rows? The option. Option. Okay, bingo. Thank you. Thank you, Misael. Okay, let us check out the attendance now. Any questions so far from here? Hello? No teacher. No question?
Okay, Adriana. Present. Ana Beatriz. Not here. Ana Lilian. Carlos Antonio. Present. Selina. Present. Diana. Present. Eric. Present. Francis. Present teacher. Not always, Francis. Not always. Jose Jonathan. Always teacher. Jose always. Jon Jonathan. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Okay, Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Maria Concepcion. Maria Concepcion. Maria Elena. Eh, Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Okay. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Yesenia Lisset. Not here, okay. Okay, then go back to the material. Let's go back to the material. And there in the material, we have this, uh, this chart and you are going to work uh, about this. And you are going to take into account the following information. Okay, let me see. You are a group of farmer with high end products who wants to expand out of the local market. Fill in the possible distribution channels you could use to make the business grow. Use the metrics about and answer the question for each option with yes or no. Choose the channel that have an affirmative answer to every question and think if it will be the best choice for your business. I don't know if you have clear what you are going to do. And tell me now, I don't want to be running like in a contest, you know, what I, what I want is that you understand what I'm talking about. But you need to tell me because when I ask you, do you have a question, any question? If you don't tell me, I'm going to consider that everything is clear. But if you say no, could you repeat again, please? And I'm going to do it. That is my job, that is my function, to help you to understand what we are talking about. Okay, it is clear or not? And let us see uh, the factor that we are going to, okay, possible channel that you are going to use. And based on this, and in the option, you are going to answer on this question, will customer buy? Fits products and brand, fits organization, or profit potential. Okay, tell me. Hello, hello.
Okay, I guess uh, it's gonna be very few work in, in teams. I got 14, I don't know why I got, when, when, when I checked the attendance, I got like uh, 18. I'm going to think that, that uh, maybe in an area it is raining. Okay, let me create the groups. Okay. And you are going to work on it, but so please try to get it involved. Okay, hold on a second. I need to assign a time. Okay, let us start with five minutes. Hello, hello, hello. I can hear you. My microphone is more. Teacher, uh, I was in the breaking room, room but, but uh the guy left so i didn't practice this yeah yeah and I, I was trying to get into the breakout room because i saw your that you were asking for help but when <laughs> i when i get there <laughs> i i, I didn't you. find anything there okay let, let me check up some i don't know why maybe it's, it is raining in an area maybe because uh at the moment that I check uh, the attendance, I got I like uh, 19, and, and right now I got 14. Oh my gosh. I just pressed the, the button left, the, the, the call. So <laughs> the call, se uh, colgo. <laughs> my goodness. Let me try to assign it maybe to a group in order that you can work with them. Group five, I guess, it's gonna be better. Thank you. Let us do it that way, okay?
Okay, don't worry. I'm going to give you more time in order to work uh, in this. Don't worry about it. But I've been checking right now. I got only just 12. I don't know why a lot of people this, uh, are disconnected. High-end, it means that it's expensive of a range of products. High-end products who want to expand out of the local market, feels possible. Ajá, eso entiendo yo que es como high end es como de un terminado bien, o sea, literalmente, vea. Es So in this case, es como expensive, ¿verdad? Expensive high or quality. like high quality. So mm -hmm. if you're trying to uh, for example to expand in a wholesale, you're not going to give a no teacher. No teacher. It appears that you have turned off your microphone. I got it now. Can you hear me now? No, I, I, was, yes, having, yes. I was having problem with uh, the connection also. Okay. Um, may, maybe okay. that, is the re that is the reason why uh, some classmates uh, are Left. disconnected, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know if you got the idea about what you need to do in the in exercise number seven. Yeah. Okay. I and think I, we we got the idea. Okay, and I'm sorry. Uh, I spent some time planning in Spanish because, uh, well, I when I ask question and I don't get any answer, that means that maybe somebody. Uh, doesn't understand what I'm saying, and for that reason, uh, I, I do it. But in this level, I don't want to speak in Spanish. 
because cost of the level, right? That means that you need to have uh, at least a score you are going to maybe have some doubt about some word, but in general, you need to get the meaning in the context. But what I'm seeing is that for some student, it's difficult to understand it. Yes. I'm sorry for that, but I had to do it in that way in order that they can understand too. Problem, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we are back. I don't know why, but um, in my case, I've been having problem with my connection too. Now I understand why uh, some student has disconnected, you know? Okay, I need uh, volunteers who want to show what they have, only just two teams or three, let, let us see if somebody wants to do it. I'm going to let you, okay, you can, you can share. Okay, I need volunteers, thank you. Okay, here we go. Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. Um, we were discussing with Laura and, and Saila. Okay. And uh, according to our perspective, direct channel will have um, will customer value, yes. Fits product and brand, yes. And profit potential, yes. Uh, we got three yes at the direct channel. And for the retail channel, we have like as our perspective, like the, the four of them with, yes. And the less is going to be um, who sells channel because it's it's going to take the first product and brand and the first organization with a different uh, manner. Okay. That means that you are going to use which channel? What is the best option that you got according to the, the, the chart that you got there? According to our opinion, retail channel. Okay. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Somebody else? Mario and I teacher. Okay, Mario. And yeah. Escobar. For us, the the only impossible channel of, of distribution was a consultant. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, it is not in the one you got only yes, yes, and yes, the positive, right? Okay. Yeah, because uh, we think uh, a consultant is a uh, 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 personal 
way to sell fruit and vegetables. Okay. Okay, thank you. And somebody else? Somebody else, please. Something that you need to take into account is also uh, the channels, you know. At the moment that we were talking about this yesterday, um, We, we got the, the main channel that we have are three, uh, direct channel, retail, and wholesale uh, channel. But also we can, we can uh, talk about manufacturer, representative, you know, and consultant too. Okay, I don't know if somebody else is going to share it. No. Okay. Let us continue then if you don't want to talk about, okay. Take a look at this, explain your choices to the class. But if you don't want to do it, okay. I'm going to continue. Okay, in the next, uh, the next step is that we are going to talk about question. Uh, this question. Okay, let us talk about this. Uh, what is the most important value a company should get for distribution services? Think about this. I remember in previous module, we talked about values. Try to remember. And also, uh, we have a second question. Can personalized packaging and products testing be considered an extra value? What, what do you think about this? Let me see. If you want to find this question, you are going to do it. Uh, on page number 14, mm -hmm. at the top of the page. Okay, who wants to give me an answer? About the third one? I don't see any hands up. Uh, 
remember what I told you. I need that you think. Maybe somebody wants to read it and say it in Spanish. Maybe in that way you can get a picture about the question. Hello, wake up, are you there? Yo leo a Juan en español. Juan, tenemos que reevaluar nuestra cadena, nuestras opciones de distribución. Los consumidores ya no están tan interesados en comprar nuestros productos desde las tiendas como antes. Ok, thank you, Eric. Uh, what I want is uh, the question one and two, and let us start in exercise number one. Ok. <laughs> ok, I'm sorry. Yes, because I, I need to, to hear your point of view about that question. ¿Cuál es el valor? El, ¿Cuál es el, el valor más importante que una compañía puede dar en sus servicios de distribución? Okay. Puede okay. ser que... Okay. And, 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 the, and the next one? Puede ser personalizar los paquetes, testeo de productos, considerarse un valor extra. Okay. Now I need somebody give me your point of view about this two question. For me, I think that is more important a uh, testing product because you need to sell something that is okay, more than the package is nice or something like that. Okay, okay. Okay, somebody else? Hello. I'm still waiting for your answer. We are still in number one activity. What is the most important value a company should get for distribution services? How, how an, 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 actor, an actor offer and product? Okay, Mario. Somebody else?
Hello, are you there? Okay, I'm going to read again the question. What is the most important value a company should get for distribution services? What do you remember about the previous model? For example, teacher, um, the most important, I guess, it's the confidence. And uh, companies can like support that confidence with a product testing at the store. Okay. I mean, they test your product and you can see that it works. Okay. Or as in the previous days, personalized packing. I have seen that that strategy at Walmart where there are some video consoles packed with different type of drawings of a famous video game and the customer they feel very uh, comfortable with the product okay okay thank you okay in order to get familiar with this uh, question we are going to see the conversation that we have here Okay, I guess you can see it. Uh, Ed and Philip are discussing the sales of their, let me see, it's not this one or it is the same, yes? Yeah, it is the same conversation. Okay, uh, and they say we have to reevaluate our distribution option. Consumer are not as interested in purchasing our products from retail store as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let, let's look for a distribution option that allows us to get our products in strategic places on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it could be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. Okay. I'm going to read it again. Remember yesterday we talked about uh, But yeah, we have something here because uh, at the top, uh, you can see in the interaction, it's talking about Ed and Philip. And right here, you see Juan and Saul, you know? Have you noticed that? Hello? Those are the middle names. Yeah, maybe could be. <laughs> That, that, that could be the, the possible answer, okay? Okay, I'm going to read again. We have to reevaluate our distribution option. Consumers are not as interested in purchasing our product from retail store as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacity. I agree. Uh, let's look for a distribution option that allows us to get our products in a strat strategic places on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it could be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. Okay, any question? No. No question? 
Okay, let us practice some mena because the next part you are going to have it as a homework. Okay, try to do it with somebody else. Let me recreate. I can only just let me see how many people do we have now. My goodness. I guess four minutes is enough to do this.
Everything is being recorded. Okay. Who, who wants to wants to participate? Okay, do it now, please. Laura and me. Okay, do it. Okay, I will be John. One, uh, we have to reevaluate our distribution options. Customers are not as interested in purchasing our products from retail store as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide use with extra storage capacity. I agree, let's look for a distribution option that allow us to get our products in a strategic place on time. The current retail store is not as a strategy as I thought it will be. It I will, okay. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesaler. Okay, only, 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 only a question. Uh, in the first in one after option, I hear customer. <laughs> I don't know if I got confused. I don't know if you got my point. Hello? In which part? Uh, after option. Option. In the second line. I mean, the one that said we have to regulate our distribution options. Uh huh. And then? Consumers. Okay. And, and I heard something like customer. <laughs> mm. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay, somebody else? Um, I have a question. Consumers and customers are the same. Mm. Yeah, could could be the same, but uh, well, well, we can say that are synonym. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. But also, we can uh, say that customer are the one that uh, they buy the product very often in the same play. Okay, somebody else? Somebody else? Mayra, and me. <laughs> okay. We have to reevaluate our distribution option. Consumers are not as interesting in purchasing or product from retail store as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allows us to get our products in a strategic place on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I told it will be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible who seller. Okay, thank you. Okay, I guess because of the time we are going to stop here. The next part of the material, I'm talking about exercise number three. Uh, 
I need the aerosol. And then tomorrow we are going to start talking about this. Building vocabulary, you are going to match the distribution option to their benefit. And we are going to start talking about this tomorrow. Let me check out the attendance now. Okay, I got it here. Adriana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ana Beatriz. Ana Lilian. Ana Lilian. Escobar. Present. Can I talk with you at the end of the session, mister? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, Selena? Here. Diana? Present. Eric? Present. Francis? Francis? Present, teacher. Jose Jonathan? Juan Carlos? Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Maria Concepcion. Maria Elena. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Saira Marleni. Present teacher. Uh, Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. It's not here. Yesenia is not here. Okay, I invite you to read the material and try to understand it. Previous to the class. If you have a uh, a chart free time you can do it and then you are going to get uh, some ideas about what we are going to talk thank you very much i don't know if you have any questions so far from here no question okay thank you i hope to see you tomorrow good night and god bless you too okay Good night. 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 Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye. See you. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, I'm 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 trying to I'm trying to do something, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. Okay, uh, Carlos, I would like to know if you have any questions so far from here about the topic that we have started. Uh, yes, teacher, I, I like the... Uh, you help with the, the expression of this style. And the previous one that we started yesterday. Yes, yes. Ah, uh -huh. uh, okay. Uh, when we talk about cer uh, certainty. Certainty. Is okay. I, I, don't know if, I don't know if you remember. I, I, I put also the pronunciation IPA symbols. I pasted it on the class. Uh, I don't know if you remember. No sé si recuerda, pero puse hasta los símbolos de la pronunciación de esa palabra. And um, I don't know if you if you resolved the last exercise. No, no recuerdo si usted hizo el último ejercicio. Uh, no, creo que no. Sí, porque uh, we have a chart. There is a chart that we need to classify. It is exercise number five. It is on page number 12. I'm going to show you. 
All right, you can see it. I guess it's this one. You are talking about this one, right? Do you remember if yes, you resolve? Yes. Hold on, hold on a second. My computer is running so fast. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, divide the list in, in two categories. Where, words that express uh, certain P and those that express uncertainty. Okay, then we classified it. I, I remember the certainly is when the is sure for the the, 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 the about um, uh, when we don't have any doubt about something. Cuando no tenemos dudas sobre algo, eso sería certain. Cuando no hay dudas. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, and what about supposed, supposedly? Uh, uh, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, me, me recordé, teacher. The certainly is certainly, naturally. Naturally? Naturally. Yeah, naturally. Um, uh, no, only, only. This is the, of course, obviously, the doubtless. Doubles. Okay, in this column we have, let me see if I remember. Certainly. Certainly. Yes. Naturally. We have, yeah, uh, naturally. I gotta stay in the third one because of the, the capital letter. I don't know why, no sé por qué me toma la primera me la deja en minúsculo. I don't know why, but my computer is getting crazy. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, of, of course. Of course. Of course. And also, uh, oh, obviously. Obviously. And doubles. And the last one is. Doubt, doubt, doubt. In Spanish, teacher, doubly es cuando no hay duda, ¿verdad? Yeah, sin duda. Sin duda. Yes. Okay. Okay, you got it there. Uh, certainly is when the noise double is o or como, como se dice, o cuando hay incertidumbre. In which one? No, cuando es incertidumbre. In this one? Yes. Si algo incierto es cuando no hay certeza de algo. Por ejemplo, viene y dice uh, como probable. One. Yeah, probably, uh, apparently, apparently, está pasando esta su, su, cosa. Supo, supposedly, supposedly. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. No, 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 uh, que no tienen la certeza o no están oh, seguros. My. Possibly, probably, uh, apparently. Presumably, presumably, where yeah. is the pronunciation? Presumably. Presumably. Yeah, presumably. Improbably. Yeah. Presumiblemente. Okay. Okay, I guess uh, um, if you classify it in this way, it is why you got a good idea. Yes. Yes, uh, well, yesterday, I'm not sure when the double is. Okay, and, and also you are going, if you see the platform, you are going to find out some words. And I remember that I asked you to write down some sentences related with this. I don't know if you did. No, esa parte no la hice, teacher. Okay. Pero ahorita que están más frescos. Yeah, you can practice. Ahí la, la, las palabras. 
Yes. A ver si lo practicamos un poquito. Ok, ok. Hey, excellent. Uh, I don't know if you have another question or that's it. Oh, no, no, teacher. Only, okay. Only question. Okay, thank you very much for the time. Thank you for, for you, your help, teacher. Okay, I'm here uh, just to give you a hand. Okay, thank you very much and have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow then. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.